Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And in this episode of Hack Attack, we're doing a very, very specific thing, a specific user case, which is sampling interapp audio apps into Koala Sampler without using a hardware MIDI controller. This is a problem because interapp audio enabled apps open up in the background. And so in order to use them, you have to leave the screen of wherever you are, where you've got Koala Sampler loaded and go to the screen with the actual app. We're using AUM right now, but you can use any other AUE3 interapp audio enabled host. So I'm going to go to the instrument slot and I'm going to go to interapp audio, pull this down and type I mono and here it is, I am on a poly by Korg. Now this synthesizer sounds amazing. However, it does not support AUV3 and so we cannot open it up as a plugin window inside AUM. This is what happens when I press this icon for I am on a poly. We leave AUM and we enter this screen where I am on a poly is running in a standalone mode in a background, only it's connected to AUM. And so now we can actually play it. It sounds massively great. And so if we jump back to AUM, go to the effect slot here, go to audio unit extension and load Koala Sampler, which is something that Koala Sampler got support for quite recently. AUE3, I mean. If you need a video on how to unlock that and how to use the AUE3 multi output, then I do have a video popping out in the upper right corner right now, or you can find it in the link in the pinned comment down below. Well, if we open up Koala Sampler here, the way you sample into Koala Sampler is by pressing a pad and then playing whatever is connected to it. Well, here we can't do that because if we want to play something in iMonopoly, we have to jump to iMonopoly. Or do we? Well, we don't. We can set up a virtual MIDI keyboard to play notes for iMonopoly. And most DAWs or AUV3 and interapp audio hosts have built in MIDI keyboards where you can send the notes from the keyboard to whatever app you've got connected to them. Well, in AUM, we can open up the keyboard by pressing this icon here. And right now it's uh, not connected to anything but we can connect it to whatever we want by tapping the wrench menu here and then connecting it to iMonopoly right there. Or we could just go to the media routings up here and connect it to iMonopoly this way. Once we've got it connected, we can actually play iMonopoly. And if I press a note here, we can see that audio is coming in because iMonopoly is playing into Koala Sampler. However, we can't hear it. Why? Well, we haven't activated monitoring and we do that by pressing the headphone button right there. And as soon as that's done, we can hear I am on a poly. And now we can sample into Koala Sampler by pressing down a pad and playing a note. And there it is. Yeah, I know it's a very specific user case, but you'd be surprised about how many times I've been asked about this, how you can do this on the same iPhone or the same iPad without having to do any weird hookups. Well, the only weird hookup you have to do is to send the MIDI notes to whatever app you want to sample. If you're sampling interapp audio apps, if you're sampling something like AUV3 apps, it's very simple. We can then open up an app here, AUV3 unit, like Sunriser, which is awesome that it got support for AUV3. Close down the keyboard here. Here's Sunriser. And here we load Koala Sampler as an AUV3, which is awesome that you can use multiple instances of it like this. Go like this and go there. Open up Sunriser Synth, press a pad, play into it. And there we sampled Sunriser Synth. So with AUV3s, it's very simple because you can do it all from AUM like this because all of the uh, windows open up like plugins. But with interapp audio apps, well, since you're leaving the screen of AUM, it becomes a bit of a chore. 
Now, I do recommend that you get a hardware MIDI controller, and I do recommend the Korg Nano Key Studio. And if you need a review for that, I do have that on my channel. It's a complete review, and you can find it in the card popping out in the upper right corner right now, or you can find it linked in the pinned comment down below. Now, before you leave, why don't you hit me with a like? And if you didn't like the video, hit me with a thumbs down. If you want to support me in a financial way, go and check out my music. I got a full list of links down below. And I've also got Patreon and PayPal if you're interested in that. And if you're not, that's okay too. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.